Hi, today we are going to learn optical character recognition. What does it mean? It means that we are going to take a sign with the text printed on this sign and we will extract the information from the text. We will do it uh, using the uh, Python libraries, using the uh, OpenCV and the uh, Easy OCR. So as you see, this sign has two uh, text, two rows, and we will extract each of the rows. So first of all, let's uh, create a Conda environment and install all the relevant uh, Python libraries. So we will create a Conda environment, let's uh, name it as SH chr record and we will use python 3.9 uh, so let's uh, run the, the process and let's activate the new environment good let's continue to the next uh, step as you can see we change it uh, and the current environment is this one chr record 3.9 now we will see uh, what is our CUDA version. As you can see, mine is 11.7. So you should uh, download the, the PyTorch relevant uh, uh, version. So this is the relevant command for my CUDA 11.7. You should install your uh, relevant command. Depends on your uh, CUDA version. Okay, let's install the PyTorch uh, library. Basically, this process may take uh, several minutes, so we will do some skipping on, on the process and run it in a fast mode. Let's continue to the next uh, library. Let's install uh, OpenCV. However, it's very relevant to choose this specific version, 4.5.4.660. Then let's install the Easy OCR, and once again we have to choose the relevant uh, version. I will leave a, 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 an instruction file with all these uh, commands in my GitHub uh, in my GitHub library, so you can uh, do a copy and paste. So let's uh, wait for the for the installation of the Easy OCR. Okay, it's finished. Let's continue to the next step. Let's install a matplotlib. I have a syntax error. Let's fix it. Okay. And now we are done and we are ready to start coding. So let's uh, go to our VS Code environment. Of course, we have to uh, change the, the content environment to our new, envir to our new uh, environment. So let's create our new Python file. As I mentioned earlier, the file and the instruction file will be in my GitHub uh, repo. So let's import our uh, installed libraries. CV2 and matplotlib and easy OCR. Let's uh, not forget to change the content environment using the control shift and p you can choose your interpreter so this is our image it's called sign.jpg i will uh, upload this uh, image as well so let's uh, uh, put the relevant path to the image and let's uh, uh, load this image and show it uh, using the the OpenCV uh, Python library. We will use the matplotlib library to, to display the image. So before displaying the image and using the PLTIM show, we will have to convert the image 
from uh, BGR to RGB since uh, OpenCV is based on BGR so this is the reason why we are using the CVT color and now we are ready to use the PLT show now let's display the image it may take a few seconds but okay it's ready and as you can see this is our original image so let's continue to the next step so in the next step we have to create an object that is basically an an OCR a, a text detector so uh, we will create this uh, reader uh, object as you can see we are uh, sending an argument uh, an ENR argument that means that we will try to detect uh, English characters next we are doing the detection so we will use this object reader and we will activate a function called read text we are sending the image to this function and let's print the outcome. The waiting time is for displaying the image. And as you can see, it's extracted the text out of the image. Very easy and very nice. So what we are going to do next? Next we would like to display our detected text next to our uh, original image that means for each place that we are uh, believe that we found the text using the easy OCR we would like to display it on our original image but we will define a threshold of 25% and if our result is above 25% we will uh, display the image so it will give us a, a let's say a, a guarantee that it's a correct uh, image so now we are going to do a loop inside our result the result is the my text uh, object uh, first of all let's uh, print it so we have to see uh, several loops let's wait a few seconds okay so as you can see our results has several numbers and each number has a meaning what we would like to extract is not only the text but the coordinates of uh, each of the rows and also the, the scoring of each detection so uh, as you can see we are uh, extracting the um, first row and in this first row we have four coordinates and then the free beer and then the, the the scoring so in the first row uh, first row for example the scoring is 0 0.95 so let's get the first position is a b box in position 0 and the second position uh, is b box in position 2 hope uh, it's understood uh, and then we will uh, check if our score is more than 25% and if yes, if it's above 25% we would like to draw a rectangle using our two positions. The position 1 is the first point of the rectangle and position 2 is the closing of the rectangle. Then let's put our detected uh, text. A, a very simple uh, cv2 function sending the image the text the the first position we we'll choose the font color and how thickness is the the text and now we are ready to run it so the outcome should be a rectangle with the text the detected text and it should be above uh, our original image Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you on my next videos. Bye bye.